Okay, guys, I'm going to. I fired it up a minute ago. I'm going to fire it up again right now. And uh, I've adjusted it down where there's no arcing in the transmitter antenna between the, the different uh, the circles of copper. And. Uh, I want to bring it up to, right now I'm running at about 50 volts, about 1.2 amps. I can adjust this spot back. Okay, I'm getting arcing in the antenna right in the transmitter. But right now, it's jumping from the outside loop to the second loop. Okay, now that stopped. And, uh... Okay, I'm going to shut it off for a minute here. And, uh... I'm going to zoom in on the setup here. Uh, right there you'll see that there's, uh... This is the high side coming off the caps. This is the low side which goes to ground over here in the back and the ground actually is connected also into this pipe over here on the wall and uh, the uh, uh, next we've got the two RF coils again and then we've got uh, the high voltage power supply which seems to be driving the transmitter fine my inverter is down here. It's a sick, I think, 600, 700 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. The very active battery, and then a just a 120 on switch with a timer on top. So it's basically pretty, pretty simple device, and uh, it's not. It takes a while to put it all together because it's time consuming. But uh, I'll give you a second here, and I'll show you the spark gap running. So the spark gap is cranking out some energy. And uh, over here the antenna is quiet. And uh, the arcing between the rings, the outer two rings, is uh, very narrow pulses. And I adjusted it down to where that doesn't exist anymore. And uh, so this is the setup over here. Let me get the stick out of the way here. Maybe you can see the end. So I'm running on about 50 volts and about one and a half amps on the 120. So so that's pretty good, and uh, everything's looking great, and. Uh, so now I'm going to I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to sit in the chair and then I'll make comments as to how I feel and uh, we'll go from there.